Some people say, oh, to Malik Jamaat people, oh, they narrate only weak hadith. That's not the right, that's not the true, brothers. Every, almost, almost every muhaddis, ask any sheikh, ask the sheikh, how many weak hadith in Tirmizi? Abu Dawud, Nisai, Ibn Majah, Musannif of Darzak, Musannif Ibn, Bush, Ibn Abi Shayba, almost every book of hadith with the exception of Bukhari and Muslim. Subhanallah, the, the ulama have even presented weak hadith as well. And they say, but... And they said, but they narrate all sorts of different stories. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in Sahih Hadith in Bukhari, he said, Ballighu anni walaw ayah, wa haddithu an bani Israela, wala haraj. Narrate on behalf of the people of the book. So what did the people of the book used to narrate? Stories of previous nations. We can't, we can't take ahkam regulations from the people of the book. Are you going to learn how to pray from a Christian or a Jew? Uh, but what can people take from Christians and Jews? Some stories of the past, of the previous nations of the past. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Wala haraj. It doesn't matter. Hadith in Bukhari. So if the Bani Israel, if their stories can be taken, no problem. Then if a Muslim narrates a story, it's only a story. He's not telling you, this is from Allah, this is from Rasulullah. It's only for encouragement. It's only for encouragement and all the muhaddithun as well. With, uh, and even Imam Bukhari, the ulama will tell you, uh, in, yes, in his sahih, he's presented only sahih hadith. But in other books, he's written Adab al-Mufrid and Tarikh Kabir and other books in which he's even quoted Zaif hadiths. Uh, there's been almost no scholar in the history of Islam who hasn't presented Zaif hadith. So just because the hadith is daif, no one is t telling you to pray or to base your aqidah upon daif hadith. It is just for encouragement and the muhaddisun for almost 1,300 uh, years, for encouragement, for just additional purposes, have, have been quoting daif hadith. But even the daif hadith which are quoted are a few. Uh, in hikayat sahaba stories of the Prophet وسلم, from Bukhari, from Muslim, Tirmizi, Nisai, Abu Dawud, and, and other books of hadith, and so on and so forth. And they are for encouragement, and, it, and, and nobody bases their ahkam on any of such. And even in other hadith, Fazal Quran, Fazal Zikr, Fazal Salah, the Enriazu Salihin, how many stories, how many hadith, Sahih hadith from Sahih Muslim, Bukhari, Abu Dawud, Tirmizi, and so on. And so just because a few had weak hadiths might be going around, that doesn't mean you should stop the good work because of that. How many people say, oh, Tirmizi, no, 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 we don't need Tirmizi, there's the hadith in Tirmizi, burn Tirmizi, now, And nobody says that. Nobody says, burn Abu Dawud, there's weak hadith in it. Burn Nisai, there's, there is a daif hadith in it. So why say burn for the Ali Ahmal? And there's all, if, if there is a weak hadith in it, the Shaykh has written, this is daif, other hadith is from Bukhari, Rawahu al-Bukhari, and the first hadith, Ana inda zanni abdi bi, Ana jalisu man zakarani, fa in zakarani fi nafsihi, zakartu fi nafsi. Hadith of, uh, hadith from Bukhari, many other hadith is from Muslims, sahih hadith is from other books as well. If there are a few hadiths which are da'if, then it's not something which, which is new. Uh, Sheikh Zakaria is not the first man to quote the hadiths. Even Imam Bukhari has quoted the hadiths in other books. So there might be something wrong. Some might, might not be praying properly. But he is not our standard. He is also learning. So when a person is learning, he will make mistakes. So, so we, we shouldn't criticize each other. We should encourage one another. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Yassiru wa la tu'assiru, bashiru wa la tunaffiru. Make things easy, don't make things difficult. Encourage people, don't discourage people. So someone is going in the path of Allah to learn, to develop his iman, to strengthen his relationship with Allah, to learn to do dawah. Allahu Akbar, what can be wrong with that?